Welcome back and thank you for joining us on this lovely Wednesday. We are keeping an eye on tracking Hurricane Ernesto. Latest bulletin from the National Hurricane Center has it now as a hurricane category one with sustained winds of 75 miles per hour, gusting 90 miles per hour with the movement northwest at 16 miles per hour and about 175 miles northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Here's the latest track that we have been receiving. It is expected to to strengthen to category two sometime Thursday morning and also strengthening momentarily or briefly to category three, but then it will be moving over Bermuda and well offshore from New England. But with that said, our waters will be churning, especially along south facing beaches. It is the summer. It is panning out to be a beautiful day on Saturday. So just keep this in mind that the wave height forecast does keep it a few uh, feet above the normal level. And with that said, also we are looking at the possibility for a dangerous rip current. If you are caught in a rip current, very important for you to not fight the current and also try to swim parallel to the coastline and uh, once again uh, float if you are able to you know what if uh, last resort try to just wave and shout for help if you must but don't try to fight that current that is the most common mistake that is made dry conditions for now high pressure is in control beautiful weather outside now tomorrow we'll be seeing increasing cloud cover so today we are enjoying plenty of sunshine a little bit hazy and that is because of smoke in the upper levels of the atmosphere but in the meantime for tomorrow we'll be dealing with some scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon as we head into sunday monday we could be seeing a little bit more moisture and widespread rain cannot be ruled out that is not rain from uh, Hurricane Ernesto. That is another system approaching the region. In the meantime, those temperatures around 80 at the moment, a mix of sun and clouds and the current temperatures across the board in the upper 70s. And we are climbing to the mid to low 80s. Those pollen levels also keep that in mind, moderate to high today and during the next few days climbing to high as we head into Friday. The pollen forecast, you'll notice Friday is probably the worst day, but if you do suffer from seasonal allergies, it doesn't even matter if it's in the low level, it'll still affect you. The highs for tomorrow, right around the same in the low 80s, and then by Friday, a little bit more of the same. Here's what we can expect Sunday into Monday, that threat for showers and a rumble of thunder cannot be ruled out either. Here's your seven day forecast with those temperatures in the 80s during the next few days, dipping just slightly below 80 on Sunday. And also the humidity levels will be rising as of tomorrow. Meanwhile, enjoy today, get out there, go for a walk or, you know, just peek outside. It's beautiful out. It's summer after all, Carl.